Hello and welcome back to Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're finally continuing this great game. We left off with the Patriarch. Currently we got a solid death under our belt in the first endgame. We learned a lot, uh, such as things explode and once a melee character is close uh, to you, there is no point in kind of reviving your friends because uh, that melee character will just deal more damage. Anyways, we have finally arrived at the HQ and uh, the Patriarch is giving us a chance. There seems to be a Dorsey, uh, one of uh, the guys that has uh, fought against us. And we can now just kill him or we say we believe in justice not vengeance which is kind of the moral high ground so we're choosing that how civilized around here we save trials for those whose guilt is in doubt but if that's what you want i'll introduce him to judge watkins he always follows the law fantastic i'd like to bring all the dorseys to justice and maybe with your help I will but for now let me address your immediate needs in addition to this base and the aid I promised your general I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength recruiting training and equipment it's not enough I know the men and women you lost can never be replaced but it's what I can give you I hope you'll accept it. Um, thank you, Patriarch. We appreciate anything that you can do for us. That sounds like a good way to start it off. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now, <sighs> introductions. <laughs> My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. That hammer is so well done. See, that's the sign of a quality game. Uh, it's not necessarily that you give him like a legendary hammer, all right? But it is the absolute vo on point voice acting and then the strength that he need uh, to have in order to pull this thing up and uh, drop it down. So what does Private uh, Jody here have to tell us? Catch my breath. That all right with you? How are your injuries? Uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your foot in while I get back on my feet. Later. Talk to you later. Okay. Would be cool if we can recruit her. Yeah. Couple of elite guards. Job was that? Oh, a diggable. Human bones and an old handkerchief. Okay. Interesting. So there are a couple of secrets around, apparently. Anything else I need to know? Okay, before we're going anywhere, let's follow the storyline. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Gretzky. Sergei, the good Gretzky. 
Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Okay, he's not Been speaking with a Russian accent. Days, Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. I pictured his name, he would be an actual Russian. What were the Dorseys after? The patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base, your rules. Angry robots? Why are they angry robots? Yeah, weird, huh? <laughs> they weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah, let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. Word of warning with those servitors. They tend to go nuts if you ask them to disobey orders. Well, wonderful. Can we get our private to join us? The rest of spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Later. Okay, I think we're off to a new adventure. Can't lockpick that. Can't go through here. Can't lockpick that either. So there is just one way in. Hmm, are we doing sneaky shit or kiss ass? I think we're going with sneaky shit. <laughs> Facility. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like the tone of the game so far. And lock picking would definitely be good. We haven't gotten any skill points. Yeah, we need someone who can pick locks. Good. Get a lot of stuff, but nothing out of the ordinary. Wow. This would be so good if we had lock picking. Okay, so what do we have? A melee blunt weapon. Fantastic. That's good. Got some ammunition, money, and we got a scope. But that requires weapon modding, which, you guessed it, we don't have either. Uh, we got a leg armor with a little bit extra combat speed. So we can equip that, no? Oh, okay, that's armor modding, I see. Fair enough. We have a lot of melee weapons, so if you were a melee character by now, you would have gotten a few add-ons. If it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access its menu is met with command access only. Eventually you query the machine uh, for the command uh, command's identity. It replies command empty, designate new command. Um, we're installing ourselves as command. 
camera flashes above the monitor, terrible photos of your face slowly uh, appear on the screen, line by line. Command recognized, security alert cancelled. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. That was the easiest repair in my entire life. If computer th um, repairs would be that easy, IT specialists oh, wouldn't be yes. paid. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since. But lately, there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently, my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. You're looking for protection, uh, protection when they attack? Protection? You think I need protection? Stop trying to be smart and listen. Okay. He's definitely not taking uh, no for an answer. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. Mm -hmm. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly clear. Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Barter! You've been ge very, uh, very generous already, but after all we've lost, there are a few things we could use here and now. Name them. Alright, well, that's a good start. Some guns. We like to fight up in personal. No. Mines and grenades. Protective gear would be great. Medical supplies are always helpful. Let's hmm. We got okay guns. I think we're taking the protective gear. You'll need it. I'll have Joe send you a few things once we get back to Broadmoor Heights. Uh, we have a few things we'd like to ask about the Dorises and the ambush. Uh -huh. Who are the Dorises? The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but <sighs> mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. You think that Vic Vell or Liberty were behind the attack? Possibly, but I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in him. Why do you say the ambush was your fault? My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Good. What else do you need? We need more background on your kids. What do you want to know? Well, how do they fight, etc.? What do, should we know about victory? Mm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. 
Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers. That seems like a good starting point. There were other survivors? Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. What do we need to know about Veller? Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers. Hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. No. But the Gippers are tough and well armed, and Denver's a death trap. All right, so Veller is the first one then. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains, everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's going to be well protected. You're expecting her to try to usurp you? <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. You'd better. There Thank you is. for the briefing. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Sir, yes, sir. That's what I like to hear. I expect great things from you, Rangers. All right, let's move out. These guys in the power armor are looking so absolutely buff. I uh, I like it. I want some of the armor as well. And there is a random stack just moving along here. And we got a cat, Major Tom. Unfortunately, Major Tom somehow doesn't really interact in combat so far. Anyways, we got an attribute point and we got skills. So what are we going to do? Um, I like, I think I like to continue with the whole charisma route uh, for Central, just giving him more charisma, and then we'll uh, think about what else he needs. Certainly, a bit more speed uh, would be good, but coordination is also great because all of a sudden more action points. Uh, means we can simply do more. So coordination seems to be an all-round good uh, skill for everyone. Or rather attribute. But we're going to go with more charisma. Confirm that. Ah, I'm not done. And then we do have three skill points. I would like to see the perks of all of his skills. So automatic weapons do have puncturing shot, fires an assault rifle that punctures through multiple enemies. That's cool, but we haven't really seen any perks yet. Then uh, gopher hunter, enemies 40% less benefit from cover when attacking uh, when we attack with an assault rifle. That's good. Then spray and pray tears uh, tears up enemies with twice as many SMG bullets, minus twenty five percent hit. Okay, that's cool. I like it. Level six. 
50% more damage with submachine guns while not in cover. That sounds like an awful uh, idea to begin with. It's passive, I think. Double tap if you take a target twice in a row with an assault rifle. Second is always a critical hit. Ooh, that is good. You move more than five spaces, your next assault or submachine gun attack costs no AP. Oh, that's good as well. So we're moving five, are then shooting once and are shooting twice for the double tap. That would be good. So automatic weapons seem great. Barter, level three, bring multi uh, buying multiple items, provides 20% discount. That's not bad. Um... Okay, leadership. Rally. Uh, provide 2 AP bonus to allies in a radius around you. It's like a prep talk. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that of course is only valuable if you do have multiple allies. For now, that's not so valuable. So it seems there is a certain benefit for really focusing on your core skills for now. I mean, we could go Barkter 3 for just one point. And we want to upgrade all of the social abilities anyways. But we're going to do two points in automatic weapons. And um, yeah, one point in Barter wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Kiss-ass isn't... Um, bad as well but we got one from our items so might as well do barter cool seems like a good uh, start for us now what are we going to do with inappropriate murphy he certainly could get some more awareness right but we also need some more coordination we're going to start with awareness i'll stick with my concept of really focusing on on one skill at a time that might be an awful concept but in fallout it always worked to have, have hyper specialized characters and we wanted small arms up to seven because that's where the nice uh, next breaking point is which means we're going to save all of the points for that although uh, hard to say. Shall we maybe do lock picking? <laughs> um, that would be more loot. Shouldn't be greedy. We're getting another character, and that character will then hopefully do lock picking and so on. Good. Did the major give us all of the armor that we were asking for? Not sure. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. What well, a good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Greatsky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, All right. electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. Ooh. He'll be your radio operator. Can he join us? Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting... Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Show us who you got My lined up. Is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Oh, we can get more stuff. Select new recruits. No way. Okay. All right, so I would love to get a melee character 
and I would love to get kind of a tech specialist um, that also does modding and so on and so forth. So we already have a sniper, that's a no-no. Then we let me look through all of them and come up with the best characters. Up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Surveying the base sounds good. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keep. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialists for the base. I love it. Anyway, you're cool. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. All right, thanks uh, for the info. One sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I join your squad? At least until you find your feet. Uh, sure, Marshal Quan. What do you have to offer us? I this city like the back of my hand. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. And, though it hurts my civic pride to say it, there are places around here where those things might come in handy. Uh, sure, Great. we can use your help. Lead the way. All right, I don't know what Marshal uh, Quan is doing, but I want to introduce you to a couple of new casts. So we got a new front line here. I called him Hogbite for good reasons, and Hogbite is going to be our frontal character. So um, I stuck with the theme of going mainly into intelligence, but I think that frontal characters will need stre uh, strength and speed and enough AP. I gave him uh, the way of the squeezing uh, because I did not really fi uh, find any good quirk uh, that wouldn't reduce his critical hit chance. So we need to find <coughs> uh, liquor in order to give him extra damage, but that is fine and level weapon. In terms of his skills, he's going to be uh, taming all of the animals. I figure that's nice for kind of an animalistic, uh, semi-psionic guy. And I put him into armor modding, because we do have a couple of armor mods. So that's going to be him for now. We still have Central, who is uh, supporting the team. Then I put Ramos in. Ramos is going to be an interesting character because we have a rocket launcher. We couldn't use it uh, now or so far. And essentially what I wanted to find out is if we can get a <clears throat> rather a heavy weapons guy or a combat medic slash um, electronic specialist. But you can unfortunately only kind of add four custom-made characters to your group, which brought me to uh, to the point that at, at this point in the game we need to fill up with others to get kind of that six-man team. And in the uh, differentiation between do I want to have a mechanic on the team or do I want to have a big gunner, I ended up with a big gunner because here's the thing, you can always blow your way through uh, stuff, but you cannot always hack your way through it. At least that was my logic. Uh, gave him extra AP at the beginning, so we got a um, serial killer for our sniper, which isn't too bad. Um, not the biggest fan yet, but maybe later it will be great when he has a bit more coordination and we can actually get two shots off and kill people. Uh, this here will help us from the get-go so that we do have a bit uh, front-loaded damage. Uh, the Varengian blood isn't bad either. I think that's a good one. And uh, we could have used Varangian blood here as well, I suppose, but I want to test out a few of the quirks. The whole thing around uh, the uh, blind playthrough is you want to test things before you make a decision what's good and what isn't good. So as a trait here, we have Exploding Maniac on Ramos. By the way, Ramos, uh, for those of you following the XCOM 2 campaigns, is always the double agent. So I took him in and gave him a bit of a um, Native American appeal. He 
is still wearing his disguise whilst he was kind of working undercover and is now picking up the big guns. Uh, skills, big guns for him, explosives. And uh, we needed someone with weapon modding. So now we have weapon and armor modding and I gave him lock picking because it sucked not having uh, the lock picking. So in terms of other skills, so we have animal whispering. We don't have a dedicated first aid person. We still need that, but anyone could do it theoretically. Uh, we do have a sneaking person. Uh, we don't have anyone with weird signs yet. I don't know if it is needed, but we're going to find out. We have armor modding, uh, that definitely is needed. Uh, the next one that I would like to add is someone with mechanics, nerd, uh, nerd stuff. And I don't know if toaster repair is any good, but mechanics and nerd stuff definitely. And maybe we combine it with uh, first aid so that it's really a really more supportive character. And we got all of the social skills covered. So I feel quite good about the range of skills that the team is covering. Our sniper, sneaky shit, sniper rifle, small arms and is really focusing on damage so that's fine. I want to build them into a damage machine. And we got Marshall Kwon here who does have a little bit of everything. What is he running with? No quirk. Peacekeeper has more initiative. All right, well, he can do whatever. Um, has automatic weapons. Seems like he does have a decent automatic weapon. Level five assault rifle, which immediately brings me to the question, uh, do you want to trade that? Because our leader sure needs a level five assault rifle. Oh, owned by Marshall Kwon. Well, never mind. So you cannot trade that. Cool. So uh, with Hogbite, we need armor. And someone, at least uh, we have asked for armor. Rangers, good to see you. be here good let's check out the rest of the compound but be before we do that so I can hold on hold on uh, not so fast not so fast so we want to give uh, melee characters a bit of that um, we had a blunt weapon so we now do have a level one blade and a big fat blunt weapon which I think we're rather turning around we need armor for our front line pains me to say that but Hogbite gets the armor and with it also an armor increase modify armor oh yeah very good. Has plenty of combat speed. Then we got another modification for more crit. Uh, you can rest assured that the Hawk Hunter level 5 weapon is going to get that scope. Very good. Nice. You can really see that little scope on top of it. Well done. The game. Uh, works nicely through the details. Our heavy weapons guy Ramos is getting the Mangler, aka the rocket launcher. And whilst we're at it, everybody should have something in their uh, utilization slots. Okay, fair enough. Good, do we have anything else? Uh, Nico Pops plus 10 crit chance but suffers a hit chance for 60 turns afterwards hmm you know <laughs> that could be something for our sniper I don't like the downtime though I don't know if you can just wait it off good Seems like we've done well so far. 
We could craft a couple of things. Frag grenades. Wow, they are expensive. Cardio regulator. Uh, requires a lot of uh, things. Con plus 15. Armor modding. Okay, these are armor mods and then we do have weapon mods. Okay, the one thing that I realize is with our 26 scraps, we're not going to craft anything. All right, let's scout the base and figure out what, what else we can find, right? Well, this must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. All right, toaster repair. Can he repair toasters? No. Okay, one little point of criticism. Oh no, uh, point resolved. Uh, I was just saying I would love a key to highlight all of the interactables. Please, don't shoot. Who, who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I, well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. Where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. Can you go and live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. <sighs> Am I going to regret that? Alright, you can Your stay. Skull. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge. You said yes. Uh, I was sure you wouldn't. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Wardrobe. Uh, new. I, I actually like the appearance of my characters, so I'm gonna change a damn thing there. Good, we got a container down here. Picking the lock. Success. Fantastic. Tape, a bit of dollars, and junk items. We still. They look like scarecrows. I wanted to hear that. Damn it, step away. Ah, now I interrupted it. It said they looked like scarecrows. So I assume what uh, the soldier was talking about is uh, um, those were androids. Good. Nothing recently has happened. Going through the bones, find a little bit of material here and there. There are some mushrooms. What else can we find? Oh, there's a corpse here. 
The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. Shabby clothes has been dead long enough for the body to get cold, not long enough to rot. Search the body. The man is carrying nothing but the clothes he wore on his body. Those are added in Grimsy. His shoes have holes in their soles. In one of his pockets you find a half-eaten sweet-smelling mushroom. And we're leaving the body alone. Webbing it due through the bars in the cell is a pale, rail-thinned man with mattered hair and fragging fade clothes. He gives you a lazy, glass-eyed grin. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before, have I? The Rangers is going to be our new headquarters. Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long time. Headquarters for what? We came here uh, to help the Patriarch. Oh no, Rangers help people. We're here to help Colorado. Cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there like more of you here? We found some recruits from the area, and more are joining oh, soon. Hey, man, that's good. That's that's good, man. More uh, people. Hanging out. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. So, hey, uh, what, uh, what? Oh, yeah, man. Cool. We have a couple of questions for I you. Don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. What's your name? My name? Uh, yeah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry? <laughs> Something like that. Honestly, I don't. Remember, it's been a long time since I thought about that, man. It's been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I, I kind of been here for a while. How long have you been couldn't here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day... Uh, Wait, there were windows on the other side. What is he talking about? Anyway, a long time, long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. How have you survived? You no, know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. A little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And, uh... You know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushrooms grow there, man. <laughs> well, I want to shit on that, sorry, but you can't uh, fulfill a 2,000 calorie di uh, diet uh, on mushrooms, let alone, even if they are non-poisonous, but whatever. Okay, we'll go with the floor, suspension of disbelief oh, cycle. I added a little self-made uh, self fertilizer. Those mushrooms. Even if you shit on them, they are not growing that fast. All right, whatever. Um, can you tell us about any of the groups that? Okay, no, we're we're going to yeah, go into man, that. Yeah. Yum yum. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, bugs when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Well, it's a squirmy slurp. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Can you tell us about any of the groups? So, uh, the obvious question, why are you in there? Because, uh, the cell <laughs> The obvious answer, right? <laughs> why were you uh, put in man, there? Didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend, though, too, man. My former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man, like, seriously. What happened to the dead refugee? Uh, that's uh, some wild stuff. 
so a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out. And starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like it made it really hard to sleep. Then after a while, the alarm stopped and then, uh, well, you came in. Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kinda, kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. People don't always tell me what's going on outside, but, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Tell us about the tired eye lady. Well, she was uh, she was a woman dressed all raggedy, but uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked. Uh, for a bit and then she left again sometimes I think I can still hear her voice hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason though now that I think about it I guess I'd be glad for the company you know? tell us about the smiling oh, woman real nice lady man had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked I think she said she was a traitor Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, because uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say oh, that. Oh, slave trader. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. He was my friend, you know. But, uh, uh, Locks and Terminal show there was a power surge, like you said, but also attempts to access the computers oh, those, afterwards. Uh, those alarms were going off. How did that happen? Who was accessing the computer after the power surge? Well, that guy, uh, he fell over under the computer machine after the flash. Maybe he landed on uh, on the buttons or on the or oh. Oh shit, man! Do you think someone snuck in here while I was sleeping and fiddled with those buttons? A prowler lurking about? That's some, um, uh, some scary stuff, man. We found yeah, a half-eaten mushroom in the corpse's oh, pocket. Um, mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors, and they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> oh boy. This guy is a doozy. So if there is a half-eaten mushroom, who says that the guy at the terminal was actually killed by an electroshock? All we know is he fell down. Could be a poisonous mushroom for all we know. Do you want us to let you out? Yeah. Uh, you're calling this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. We'll say what we can do. No Ooh, promises. I, I it, man. No pressure, but, uh, sure. Oh, man. So. Uh, there is really no window here. I was well. No, no, no. Here are window. Uh, there are windows here. Oh no, there are not. This is just the wall. Okay. Well, difficult decision. He does have his mushrooms. Prisoner looks a little bit iffy. Could have killed the guard. 
first aid check. Uh, we didn't have the first aid check to check for sure. We'll come back once we do have the first aid check. Interesting, all those little details. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball court. Okay, Razorbacks, we gotta be a bit careful here. Anga down. Oh, what a great crit. 310. Combat has started. Frontline Hogbite moves up. Prepares for next round. Um, we are crunching down and are overwatching. Marshall moves over here. Ramos uh, with his good... I think the Razorbacks are potentially melee characters. I would guess at least. Oh yeah, good hits. Sheesh, they are fast. Good. Do we have anything here uh, usable in combat? Oh, okay. Fantastic. We could theoretically let it attack the enemies. Charm animal. Uh, that is a friendly animal to follow us. We don't have that. Instead... We are missing the hit. Not good. Our sniper almost kills it, and there we go. Poisoned can be removed by antidote or doctor NPC. Not great. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, a bit of wolverine fur. Marshal Kwan still takes damage. Power button on this machine resists your press seemingly rusted in place. It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives way. Screen comes to life. Rate uh, failure. Corruption detected across multiple uh, sectors. Initiating automatic repair. Recovery complete. Uh, examine personal locks. Uh, there are a few locks that you'd expect for a base of this size. Many have been suffered data corruption and are unrecoverable, but you find a few that ones that are legit. Personal lock of um, someone. And we don't have nerd stuff. Read the old security locks. Okay. Apparently a couple of intrusions. More intrusions, more fighting. Fair enough. Good. That's a bit of uh, the story of that whole compound here, it seems. And there are more bones. Bones mean loot. And I assume the bones were former soldiers of some kind. We're now getting money. Marshal Kwon still takes quite a bit of damage.
Yeah, but overall that fight went very, very well. Wow, what a massive base. I think this uh, episode will only be the exploration of the base. Good. Got a lunchbox. Fair enough. Some junk. More junk. Uh, scrap metal. That is good. And more crafting components. I like what I'm seeing. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping... The corpse of a young woman lies to your feet, her body contorted in an unnatural angle, judging by the smell he's been, uh, she's been here for a while. Examine the corpse. The woman is wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are cramped with fuses, bundles of wire and bits of circuit boots. Looks like uh, this wastelander made her giving by uh, sav uh, scavenging and repairing electronics. She would have uh, felt right at home in this old garage. Leave the corpse alone. Well, this guy doesn't look like I want to mess with him. One thing that I learned so far is you don't want to mess with computer uh, with the robots. They are strong. Terminal displaying information about base system or everything seems normal. Service elevator platform. Mechanical failure. Service drone has been issued repair orders. Okay. Oh, there is an elevator, I see. Rusted Slicer. The enormous spider-like robot is in bad shape. It twitches, a puddle of its own fluid, its uh, casing dented, riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrape and marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. Examine the robot. Uh, you recognize the Slicer Dicer as a pre-apocalypse military robot. It appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and missing some of its weapon. Upon closer inspection, you note that some of the bullet holes uh, have been patched and several of the legs uh, show signs of recent welding. The Slicer Dicer's main access panel is open, revealing its wiring and power plant. It's clear that someone has been trying to repair the robot. Hmm, okay, we don't have mechanics, but if we could have such a robot with us, that would be awesome. What a stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a more. This desecrated husk of a man lies in more of a skeleton covered in a papery skin. Search for the cause of death. Looks like a simple cause of starvation and dehydration. But the corpse, ankles and wrist show some scarring as if he was chained up for a while. Looks like missing arm. Nothing to do with the woman's demise. Had been expertly removed and stitched long before she died. Instead, she seems to have died of an infection or illness. Ugh. That's a horrible way to go. Exposure to extreme cold. Um, person has a missing extremity. Scarring indicates have been happening multiple times. But it wasn't cold that killed him. Open wounds across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. Oh, wow. One death worse than the other. 
most of them violently murdered, bullet holes. They all have scarrings on their ankles and wrists. So they were slaves. I see how it is. That might be the lady with the tired eyes that uh, our prisoner was talking about. Guarding uh, this wall is enormous, uh, repressed into walls, floors and ceiling. It appears that it can be only opened from a numeric keypad in the wall. And uh, code at random, uh, new. Thank you. That could lead to problems. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Could we disable traps? We're digging through the trash. A lot of ammunition there. Terminal is displaying information about the base system. Everything seems normal right now. We're picking the lock. Lock pick so far was very good, uh, but so was disabling. Oh, no, no, no. That's level four. Not good. Can't disable that yet. I like the idea of a grenade box, but I don't like the idea of blowing ourselves up to smithereens. Cool, so lots of opportunities that they are offering you for all of uh, the other skills. Let's take a look at Private uh, Joey here. Rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Oh man, we got. Sorry, I just want to later. Good. She certainly is not joining us yet. Uh, but we have gone long enough for this episode. Next time, we're going to use our newly assembled crew in order to hopefully help uh, the. Sheriff, I think it was, and showcase a few of our combat abilities. It's starting to become very, very promising. In that uh, regard, thank you for watching. The one thing that I haven't found is uh, the armor that we have been promised, but maybe I can figure that out uh, in the meantime. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.